Today I'm going to be tying an MP52. The MP52 is uh, one of Mark Petitchan's Thus the MP, one of his patterns, and uh, it's quite a simple fly which I really like. It's one of my favorite all-round uh, dry fly dressings. It is a CDC caddis pattern. So first of all, we'll start by attaching the thread. Like that. Run it down to the hook bend. All the way. Then choose a CDC feather, natural grey, that is uh, fairly fleshy and it uh, can't be too short, it should be fairly long as well because what we are going to do is to twist this feather around its own axis and then uh, wind it along the shank as a body. It requires some training so don't be frustrated if you don't manage at the first try. Something that can help is that you uh, moisten it with uh, water or saliva. Now I like tying quickly sometimes so I just pull it through my mouth. And we are going to collect the fibers of this feather so as many feathers, uh, sorry, as many fibers as possible are collected and used for the body. So make two turns to lock the feather down here at the base of the feather then grab it and point it downwards this is just to make sure that you don't pull the thread down the bend and then lighten up on the thread turns and pull it till you reach the tip of the feather and once you have reached the tip about like that make some really firm hard turns to make sure that you tie the feather down properly lock it like that and wind the thread to the hook eye so now we're going to twist the feather and CDC feathers after all have uh, quite a thick stem so we have to be careful when winding the feather I use a Mark Petitchan hackle plier it's developed for winding CDC feathers and I think it's great for doing so but you, you could use any hackle plier so twist it uh, a couple of turns around its own axis, not too much. And always, after each turn of the uh, CDC feather, you uh, stroke these fibers towards the hook to uh, collect the fibers and make sure that they are included into the body. Because after we have uh, won this body, we are going to trim it. Trim it free from uh, free fibers. So we twist it a little for each turn and we stroke the f fibers along the feather for every, every turn. And uh, stop short of the thorax. So leave a little room for thorax. And uh, since this is such a heavy stem, we need to lock this down. Look, I almost lost it there we need to lock it down real good so take many hard turns and tie it down and then you can trim away the excess like that alright now for the wing no wait first we are going to trim the body so just grab those fibers because you don't want them now really this is a matter of preference some people like it more buggy, but I want it uh, more clean, this body. Just watch your tying thread and cut those fibers away. Now, these few fibers that you might gain, don't throw them away. Dub them onto the thread, because that is what we are going to make our thorax out of. So now for the wing. Choose another CDC feather. and tie in a bunch of fibers. Make it a fairly bulky wing. I like it that way personally. I'm going to use a... you can tie... you can rip the fibers off and tie them in in bunches but I use this Marriott CDC tool. It's quite a nice tool for making CDC wings. So 
So bunch all those fibers up. You want as many as possible to make the correct silhouette to the fly. Like that, and tie them in. Like that. You might want to cut a little taper, because if you have this many fibers, it can become quite steep. Lock it down. Like that. And then we're going to trim the wing. Don't trim it too short. Make it fairly long. First of all, this is CDC, so it will fluff out. But also, caddises have quite long wings. So I say make it uh, maybe a quarter of an inch past the hook bend. And if you find that too long, just make it shorter. And these fibers, dub them directly to the thread, because now we are going to wind the thorax. The fibers you have dubbed to the thread now might not be much enough, so you can always take a third CDC feather and rip some fibers off and dub it. I say you shouldn't dub too much CDC dubbing to the thorax, it should be quite small in my opinion. and you wind it like that and then we'll just do a finishing knot I usually make two whip finishes when it comes to CDC you should be very careful using any chemicals, you know, super glue, varnish or anything similar, because if that runs into the CDC it is most likely to ruin it. So it's easily happened that you ruin your fly if you use chemicals like that. And that is your MP52 done.